Okay, so in this video we're going to look at uh, what we started out doing in the last lesson, which is dividing numbers into different sized fractions. Um, but in the previous video, all we were doing was splitting it up and looking at what one part of that would be. So one third, one fourth, one half. Uh, now we're going to start looking at similar sized fractions. So we'll still be talking about thirds or fourths, but we're going to talk about two thirds or three quarters and take a look at what's different about that and what's the same. So let's look at these first examples, which again, I've picked really straightforward ones just to illustrate the point. So we're going to look at one third of three. Get my marker ready here. So I'm going to show the same strategy as I used in the last video. I'm going to show a fraction picture here. The fraction they've given me is thirds. So I'm going to show a fraction that looks like thirds. And I'm looking for one third of three. So if I had, say, three marbles and three people to share them, one, two, three. And if I had one third of those, then I have one group, which means in this case, one. So now I'm going to look at two thirds of three. And I'm going to do the exact same start. Show my picture here. And I'm going to share those three items between those three groups. One, two, three. But now if I'm talking about two thirds of three instead of one third, then just like we used the fraction pictures, I'm just gonna highlight two thirds instead of one third. So now if I add up what I have highlighted here all together, two thirds equals two. So let's try that again looking at a larger number, but the same sized fractions. So let's start with one third of 12. So, picture, three parts because our fraction is in thirds. This time I have 12 items to share, so let's count to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12. And just like in the previous video and the previous example, if I have one third, I just have one of those pieces. Each of those pieces has four, so one third of 12, or 12 shared three ways, is four. So now I can use the exact same idea to figure out two-thirds. Picture. We'll just fill that up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But this time, instead of one-third, I have two-thirds. So let's highlight two-thirds. Even though I've smudged out some of my dots there, I know that four and four more is eight. So two-thirds of twelve is equal to eight. Okay, so now we're going to look at thirds again, and we're going to do a problem that makes us work through this in reverse. So we're going to start with the fractions, and we're going to figure out how to show those. So the question begins, you have blank number of marbles. Let's start with the simplest example, which is three. One third are green, two thirds are purple. Well, that's easy, because we know that there are just three. So if we're saying one out of three are green, that's one green marble. Do a little cat's eye in there. And of course, we could put a fraction picture around that if we really wanted to make it clear. But I don't think that's even really necessary at this point. So that's a simple example, but let's take a bigger number and figure out what fractions will look like. Instead of three, let's go back to 12. Now you may remember these fractions from the previous example, but let's start fresh anyway. So one and three are green. So I'm going to show you two different ways we can do this. We can use the picture just like before and use thirds here. Should have picked a different color, but that's okay. Or over on this side, we're just going to draw them out. So let's start with the fraction picture. If one and three are green, but now there are 12, then I need to have 12 marbles here all together, uh, equal groups, but different number of green and purple. So if one third are green, then I could do this really slowly and simply by just saying, okay, I need 12 all together and I need equal numbers. So one, two, three, you notice that's one third right there, but we're going to keep going up. So 
if one third are green, then one third of your marbles are going to be, or sorry, four marbles are green and eight marbles are purple. Um, and we'll remember from the previous example that one third of 12 is four and two thirds of 12 is eight. So that makes sense. We could also leave out the fraction picture and just add them up over here. So we could just draw them out. So we could say, okay, we know for every green one, there's going to be two purple. So green, purple, purple. And when we finished that, we end up with the same number. So we have 12 marbles all together. And for every one in three marbles, there's a green one. And for every two and three, there's a purple one. And all the way down, we end up with four green and eight purple. And we have the correct number of marbles, which is 12. Each is in an equal group. So that's that.